This is the Coolify 2, which is a $180 neck fan. Today I'm going to find out why it's so expensive and if it's worth the cost. Let's get started in today's video. Before I get started, let's go back to the unboxing and see how that went. All right, very nice presentation. It kind of looks a little bit like a robot vacuum almost. All right, let's open it up here. All right, what's inside here looks to be the cord and uh, the instructions in there. I've never seen instructions quite like this before. Some mysterious QR code, who knows what that goes to. And then this looks like some, maybe some, some warnings. So there you go. Very heavy, it's much heavier than I expected. The claims that it has two cooling plates, there's one there and there, I'm assuming. So you can charge it right here. Uh, here's the vents that would blow onto your neck. They say that it can lower the temperature by 27 degrees Fahrenheit in one second. Let's take a look at this with one of my favorite new toys, which is the Klein Thermal Imager. As you can see, the plates are very cold and the rest of it is actually kind of warm. So you can see how that would fit around your neck. If I touch any of the plastic parts, for example, I'm just going to hold on to this. You can see that my hand warmed it up significantly, but I, I'm going to touch this plate right here with my fingers. I'm going to hold on to it. Hold on to it for a minute and look, it does not warm up. So if it's sitting around your neck, your neck is not going to warm it up. Quick look at the controls here. This is the power button. When it first goes on, you can see it says C1 right here. And then it shows the battery power, which is 93%. Now on the other side, this button will control the mode. So we can go from, that's fan. So it's just, just the fans blowing, no cooling. Cooling, fan, switch back and forth. Now if I hold it down back here, now it switches to heat. Now when it's in heating mode, now the plates are actually nice and warm. Heat two, heat three. The fans don't run when it's in heat mode, by the way. A couple other features they, they mentioned, they have one and a half inch bladeless fans. The cooling can run one to two and a half hours or three hours if you have the bigger battery. The heat can run three to five and a half hours. The fan can run four to 18 hours. Hitting the power button will toggle between the three cooling modes and then go off. If you want to switch modes over here, you can go between Cooling and fan, if you hold it down, now we're to heat. Heat two, heat three, and off. For my two outdoor tests, I wanted to compare the Coolify 2 to two other neck fans I have in my collection, the Arctic Air Freedom and a generic one from Amazon. Now the Arctic Air Freedom just has fans. The Amazon one has a small cooling plate in the back. And of course the Coolify 2 has the two cooling plates. I went out in the desert and sat in a hot car to try them out, and here's how that went. All right, time for the desert field test right here. I've got three different neck fans I'm gonna test out. It's kind of warm out here right now. It's over 100 degrees, no wind. It's, it's just, it's hot. All right, so the Arctic Air Freedom, it really just kind of pushes uh, air around. This doesn't feel much cooler than the, than the air outside. I guess at least it, it provides some sort of a air to your face, but it's not really cooling at all. Arctic Air Freedom, nice try. Next up, this one's a kind of a little bit older where the battery's kind of not so great on this anymore, but it still does work. This one has a cooling plate on it. Now this has fans that are adjustable that can kind of blow up toward your face. I think I paid 60 bucks for this, but I think the last time I checked it, it was about 40 bucks. All right, the cooling plate has been engaged and it's starting to get cool. Now this one is definitely better than the Arctic Air Freedom, but I could already tell you that that metal plate, it just feels real sticky. Like there's a piece of metal stuck to your neck and it just wants to peel off like when you're stuck to the back of a chair in the car. It's, like, it's not comfortable, it's kind of moist. It feels cool, but it's like an uncomfortable cool. It's like a sticky cool, like a piece of metal stuck to your skin cool. Better, but I think we have ways to go. Now it's time for the start of the show here. Got high hopes. Now right away, I like the way this one just hugs your neck. The other ones, they don't really hug. They're adjustable, but the adjustableness makes it less huggable. This one is less adjustable, but it doesn't have to because it just hugs your neck so well. You got the fans blowing up, which feels nice, but it's not really the main feature. To me, the main feature are those two cooling plates in the side. They don't feel nearly as sticky, I guess just because of the material. Clearly a big difference between this one and these two. Even though they look similar, man, it's a lot more expensive, but it also is a lot better too. So compared to the other two, this one just kind of moved the air around, which is great, I guess, if you're in stagnant air. This one does provide cooling, but it's only one small spot in the back of your neck and it's a bit sticky. This one gives you the best of all the worlds. And just in time for a breeze to arrive, I don't need it as much anymore. The Amazon fan that I tried out, the plate's only a couple of inches long. It does feel nice, but it's not very big. These plates each are probably double that. So 
you're really getting about four times as much cooling plate area than you are with the Amazon. So it's a lot bigger. And I, I bumped it up to cooling level two because uh, I, I certainly need it out here. I really feel like from here up, feels pretty comfortable. From the rest of my body down, it's still pretty warm. There's a little bit of a stickiness to it, but not nearly as much as the Amazon one does. And it has more of surface touching your skin, so I think it's certainly better. I would say despite the high cost, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh no, I think I'm lost in the desert. Actually, the parking lot's right back there. All right, let's try a hot car test. Now, I've parked my car here. I turned it off, got no air running. It's completely dead warm air in here. It's in the 90s outside. It's already getting warm in here. Let me give it a shot. It's very stuffy in here. It's like there's just dead hot air and it's getting hotter every minute. Let's go down the line here with these three. Let's start off with the Arctic Air Freedom. Arctic Air Freedom on low. It feels like warm air blowing up my ears. On medium, it's warm air blowing up my ears a little bit stronger. And on high, it's very strong warm air blowing up my ears. That's not cool air at all. Get out of here. Time for the Amazon fan. Turned on, cooling play activated. Uh, very nice in my neck, very nice back there. And these fans just kind of, feel, it's funny because like the back half feels nice and cool against my neck, the front half just feels like warm air being blown up against me. Better than dead air, but it, it could be better. That plate in the back is quite nice though. It's just very small, it's like, it's this big. So you have that much cooling in the back of your neck. Okay, this is medium. Doesn't make much difference in the plate, but it does make the fan stronger. Right. And this was de definitely louder than the Arctic Air Freedom. Much louder. And that plate is just sticky and moist feeling. This feels cool, but sticky and moist, and these blow warm air. Time to start the show. Here we go. Cooling level one. Immediately feels better than the other two. The fan portion doesn't really impress me as much as those cooling plates do, but let me turn up a little bit. Okay, this is medium. This tends to hit more of my, my jawline. The other ones seem to hit more of my ears. This is more jawline. Yeah, nice cool jaw here. All right, it's also not nearly as loud uh, as the others were. These are kind of loud. This one is not as loud, even when it's on high. What's weird with this one is I don't even feel like it has to be on, on as high as the others. Low feels good on this one because the cooling plates are so large. The fan is just a little bit of extra airflow. It doesn't seem like they really add as much as the plates do. The plates are what, what the big selling point is and they do really well. So really just keeping this on low seems to work well for me. While I'm sitting here kind of evaluating how this works, I will say that I do not have the ability to test this in humid air. I, I don't think it would make a difference because of the, the technology involved, but I, I honestly don't know for sure if this would be uh, as effective in, in a humid environment, and I can't test that. So unfortunately, I can't report on how that works. I know here in the dry desert air, it works quite well. There is something interesting that I have observed after sitting here for a while. Once the skin on your neck is actually cooled down to a certain temperature, it doesn't really feel as cool anymore. That's because the temperature of your neck and the temperature of the plate are the same. If I take it off and put my hand on there, it still feels cold. My neck is actually still pretty cold, so you kind of start feeling like maybe it's not cooling as much anymore, but it's just because your neck is not as hot as it was when you started. If I turn it like this, it feels cold again because it's touching a different part of my skin. One of my favorite new toys is this Klein Thermal Imager and I pulled it out to show how the neck fan actually keeps my neck cold and I compared it to the other neck fans and here's how that went. Now as you can see the Arctic Air Freedom doesn't really provide much cooling. It's really just a fan. There's not a lot of cooling that goes on. When I switched over to the generic Amazon that does have a cooling plate you can see in the back of my neck does have a nice big rectangular cool spot so that feels nice. But then when you compare it to the Coolify 2, you can see how much bigger of an area is cooled by them, both sides of my neck going all the way around. It definitely provides a much bigger cooling area than the other neck fans. I should also point out they have two more models that are even more expensive than this one. They have one with a bigger battery, that's 200. Then they have one with a bigger battery and a special edition design, that's 230. So let's take a look at some pros and cons for the Coolify 2. The pros would be that it feels very durable, well-made. I really like the way that it just kind of hugs your neck. The cooling plates are very good. They're very large. They cover a lot of area. The noise level is much lower than the other fans I've used as well. And the fact that it provides heat, that's kind of a nice touch. Now there aren't really a lot of cons, but there is something to consider. And that's the fact that the battery only runs one and a half to two and a half hours, and maybe three if you get the one with the bigger battery. If you're someone who's working outside in the heat and you want something like this, you're not gonna have it all day. 
It'd be nice if they had an option with some sort of either a replaceable battery or a battery pack externally or some way you could run it longer than that. I think that's really the only drawback in an otherwise really nice design. So that takes us to the ultimate question then, is the Coolify 2 worth 180 bucks? Now I honestly can't say that I would spend 180 on something like this, but because I have it, I'm definitely gonna use it. But if you're looking for the top of the line neck fan, the best on the market, this might be something to consider for your short list. On the other hand, it might be a matter of balancing between cost and between features. But if you've tried the Coolify 2, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.